Hello everyone, this is Jenna Oda, welcome back to another Let's Play Rome 2 Total War. So today we will be playing Hannibal at the Gates using the Radius Total War mod. Previously we've only played it in vanilla, but this time we're going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, we're currently playing patch 14, so let's get to Hannibal at the Gates. So there are currently five main factions that you can play as. It will be Carthage, Rome, Syracuse, the Louis Tani and the Aravaki. So they're all kind of in different locations. One's in Spain, also another one in Spain. This one's a little bit further down here in somewhere in Italy, in Sicily. Uh, but we'll be playing as Rome, uh, fighting against Carthage, which is pretty heavily entrenched in Iberia and North Africa. So, in Iberia, Hannibal Barca has vowed to take vengeance upon Rome following Carthage's defeat in their first war. Seizing pro-Roman Saguntum, which is about over here, I think, Hannibal plans to invade Italy and destroy Rome once and for all. Despite its control of Italy, Rome's expansion has been swift and is therefore fragile. Carthaginian progress in Iberia must be checked by any means. Hannibal is gathering allies as he approaches. The Gauls of northern Italy must be contained before they can join forces with him. However, Rome must tread carefully. For Hannibal is a skilled general and a dangerous enemy. To defeat him, they must be prepared to strike at the heart of the Carthaginian state, the great city itself, which is eh, right over there. So one of the key penalties that you'll have here is, you know, any diplomatic notions that you try to do with Carthage will be, you know, penalized. And we have agricultural bonuses of plus 15 wealth, and also, well, Pride of Rome, get extra influence or rather extra public order when you have a large amount of Latin culture within the settlements and or province in this case. Hannibal my son, stand before the gods and swear from this day until your last that you will always be an enemy of Rome. You insult Rome! You have violated the treaty that binds you! Your treaty is unacceptable! I will remind you, the last time Carthage resisted Rome, your fathers were buried in the fields of Sicily. Those that didn't greet the dirt with open arms, we sent to serve Neptune in the waters of the Agatis. The Mediterranean is undoubtedly ours. Not yours. You gifted us whatever scraps of it you held when you and your mercenaries scurried back to your barbaric fishing village. And I am sent here to ask you to decide between peace and open conflict as if you truly have a choice. I choose war. It is over 20 years since war last raged across Sicily. Since its defeat, Carthage's gaze has turned towards Iberia, making great profits there. Now a Carthaginian general named Hannibal Barca has sacked Saguntum, a valued ally of Rome. War can be your only response. The battleground of Iberia is ripe for conquest. Great riches can be found in her mines and manpower. Those riches should belong to Rome. Our diplomats can join the offensive. If the allies of Carthage can be persuaded to break away, our army's task will be all the easier. The Mediterranean will belong to Rome. Carthage must be destroyed. Alright, so we have our first objective. 
take St. Leonis. Here are the lions, far across the Medi Mediterranean. The Barsid Helions dare to challenge our power. Before destroying these Carthaginian pests, however, we must uh, secure our borders against them. So control their settlements either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. And we'll also get $2,500 or denarii. We have another mission, Pacify Gallia Cisalpina, or Cisalpina. The Gauls in the Po Valley grow restless and take up arms against us once more. We cannot fight effectively against Carthage with the Gauls at our backs. They must be pacified. So we must take complete ownership of Gallia Cisalpina, or Cisalpina. Looks like our ally assists Massalia. Our allies in Massalia have come in blows have come to blows with hostile Gauls in the mountains beyond the sea. Intervention will allow us to further Rome's influence in the region. Uh, okay, so we just have to be at war with the Alabrias and we get a thousand denarii. Trade with the Masaili. The survival of our alliance with the Masaili in Africa is imperative. Mutual trade will enforce both our, both our treasuries and dispose them further towards us. So, Africa, trade, perfect. Alright, where are they? Messiah? Nope. Messiah Lee. There we go. The of my Let's see, can we get a trading group? Yes! Perfect. Well, that worked out easily. And now we are trading with Messiah Lee. Very nice. So, I think we got an extra thousand there. So we're at four thousand now. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so let's check our diplomacy. Let's see what's going on here. We are dependable. Uh, let's see, we have three defensive allies. Oh, Emporium. Where, where are you guys? Oh, nice. Over here. These guys are friendly towards us. So, oh, okay. Alright, let's get some trading going. Word of our agreement and put it before my people. They will feast in celebration. Oh, we already have a trade agreement. Very nice. Wait, do we? No, no, wait, we don't. We're at war with these fools. Okay. So we just got two trade agreements within like the first three minutes of the game. Very nice. Libya. Well, let's see if we can get some trading going off these guys. No? Okay. Well, we tried. Wish us to show humility and not oh, the Sandmites? Okay. Well, these guys seem to be our client state, so we should the probably trade with them. To you, but to oh, very nice. Okay, that's another one. They have led us oh, the Etruscan League, which is... Friendship. So we actually been. have four client states. The boy. Uh, let's see, the Insubres, the Truscan League, and the Sandmites. So we just got four trade agreements, I think? Well, maybe not. Hold on. There we go. There's a good pork roasting for you. Now we'll have four. Wait, the one, two, rejoice at the words three, four. Yeah. Today. You honor us. Oh, you honor me with your free trade. Oh, these guys are angry, though. Gods well, of the Spare my ass. Yeah. Well, not gonna even bother if they don't want it. Oops, wrong one. Ooh, these guys are angry too. Come, oh. come. Let me hear your talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meek or nice. Oh, we already have a trade agreement. No, we don't. What's going on here? How come I can't trade with these guys? Oh, there's no actual trade route. We're also at war with Liguria, not at war with these guys yet. Okay. Boom! Plus 1,000. There we go. Oh, right. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, civic. And let's do diplomats. We want to be able to have, you know, better diplomacy with uh, the other groups. And we're at war with these guys, so we probably want to That's either A move an army north or build an army. 
let's, let's build an army. Nice. Ludus trouble. Oh, okay, so we still have... We can still bring people into our, our house. I'm not entirely sure if this matters, the politics portion of it. But... Uh, I mean, I guess we'll see. Alright, bring some Terraria. I want hourly patrols. I will recruit... Not these guys, I'll recruit some Hastati. Three of them is good. Oh man, these guys are so expensive. How many can I- oh jeez, how many can I recruit? I build like a full stack. I don't want to build a full stack. I'll just get three of these guys. And then, looks like I can do an edict here, so let's do... Romanization, because there are... These guys here. Let's check our provinces. Uh, almost everyone's happy except for this guy, so... Sicily, we have... seem to have... Oh, oh no, that's not what I want. Liberium... Okay... Oh, well, we need an edict here, right? No, there's no edict here. There is an edict here, though. Mm, let's do... Uh, commercial? These guys will be commercial stimulation. Rome will of course be taxes, taxes, taxes. Let's see, we have this one guy here. Let's check. How do I check the culture settings here? Nope. Nope. Uh, let's see, if I click on this guy, there we go, details. Currently, what is our culture? Plus 2.6 Latin. Okay, perfect. So, I don't think we have to do anything here. So what I'll do instead is taxes. And then these guys here. For the factions here. This one. Let's see, the culture is 66% Latin. And, uh, yeah. Alright, well, sounds like I just need more taxes. We hunger for battle. Okay, so let's end our turn here. Alright, so we got maybe four or five trade agreements in one turn, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so it looks like my defensive ally is being attacked by my client state. Enter on side of boy. Uh, let's not do either. Let's not join either war. Are we at war with these guys? I wish there was a way to tell, like, immediately. Their military allies? Rome. Oh, it didn't break the alliance. Oh, it broke the client state between us. Oh well. The boy have been... Uh, I wouldn't say the most useful ally ever. Ooh, I can trade with greetings, these guys. Friend. Greetings. Will you Very nice. My people will find much joy in this. Thank you. Thank you for trading with Rome. We have need of talk, I'm sure. We also need good food. You well, have an you know, I don't want to trade. And so I reject your offer hesitantly and without wishing offense. Libya, I let's try one more time. Nope, okay, see ya. Alright, that's enough diplomacy for a day. So we're strengthening our ties with these guys. Keeping watch. My journey begins. And we will inspire corruption across their state. Okay, so we have a ton of money now. Well, I wouldn't say a ton, but you know, decent amount. So we will actually do another harbor here. We do have bonus 
for agriculture. So we want to get as much money as we can. But I want to provide a little bit of more food. We do have 55, but that's probably going to change very soon. Let's see. Commercial. And Magna Greca looks to be pretty happy. 954. Let's see, we have several armies out here. By the Greeks. I mean, not the Greeks. Wow, the Gauls. Oh, look, I have a spy here. Let's uh, speed it up. Okay, so let's see. A study. I wonder if I have anything slightly more efficient. Do have Italian cavalry? Oh my goodness, 310. Expensive. Expensive expenditure per turn. Can I recruit? Uh, let's get one of these guys. I don't particularly want to have these guys, but I'm sure they are necessary for now. Bolster my army. And can I, what can I recruit in Rome? I can recruit Equites. Perfect. Alright, it's in their turn here. It looks like their army is marching out. Hmm, relatively large army actually. My army is tiny right now. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Let's see, Truscan. Whoa, 450. No thanks. I think I'll need some of these guys. I'll get the cavalry just in case so we can provide some form of flanking maneuvers. So once you upgrade this, you can't actually do anything else. So, I'm going to just not do that. Ooh. Let's get one of these guys. Upgrade that guy, and I'm out of money. Okay. Unseasonal conditions. Faction joins war. I will not meet these guys on the field right now. And I don't think we're at war with these guys. These two are going to duke it out. We will help these guys out soon. Although I am what untrustworthy. Such as attacking your decrease your uh... Huh what? We didn't betray anyone yet. Hmm Well let's end our turn here. Hmm. Huh. Oh, and we're being attacked. Oh wow, we have a thousand something men here. Okay, so let's fight this one on the battlefield. Our first battle of Pasai against the Liguria, the sons of Smertrios. As he was a valiant, I honor him, but he was ambitious. I slew him. Wahaha. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be attacked from both the north and the south of town. So we have cavalry and spears in the north, and then the rest of the army in the south. So, we do have a study. Hmm, what I'm thinking is... We want to... Either A, keep all of the heavy infantry together, or split them off. Hmm, decisions. 160, 160. Alright, let's do this. Put these guys here. Oh no, perfect formation guys. There we go. We will put a study defending this side. And then we will have Stadio over here. 
Triari will stay with, well, you know, the main body. Cavalry will be here. Disable skirmish mode. Do this. I feel like these guys might be better off over here for now. Let's see, these guys will be over here. Rari will defend this with the heavy infantry. I'll have men over here in the back. These guys will be unit 4, unit 1, 2. Hmm. Three. Italian cavalry. Five. Brave Romans to a man. Melee infantry. Spears ready. Hmm. Probably want someone defending the rear over here. Rorari. Ready. Spear infantry. Ready. Just in Rorari. case. Start the battle. Also, in the Radius mod, the AI is actually improved, so that's why you'll notice that they actually split their attack into two, I guess, waves. Or, you know, two sections. You know, have some in the north, some in the south, so then you're not just fighting one giant blob. Although, I guess it does make more sense that they're all just coming from the south. But that's okay. Men of Italia. I have Italian... Cavalry on my side, mercenaries that don't look like mercenaries. Fantastic. So my main body is here with the Astati. Astati. Ooh, we have defensive. Oh snap! This is this is actually terrible. I thought they were just gonna stand and you know do their thing. But that's not the case. Oh shit! Their army is much bigger than I anticipated. Hmm. Move these guys back. Back of those dudes over there. Looks like we're being flanked by Lugurian swords. So the general will intercept them before they touch our fragile glites. Hmm, I don't think it would be wise to flank a ton of spear warriors. So we are going to flank cavalry. Break, the lines. Break them! Break the enemy! Unit is losing decisively. Great. That is reassuring. Oh, 
All right, let's give him some boost. Let's give him a nice boost. Aim at the Spear Nobles. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so it looks like their cavalry has kind of just peaced out. So we're not going to pursue until we need to. Some intense combat going on over here. What's going on? They stopped moving. Very weird. I told them to flank the other guys and they just kind of stood still. Attacked in the rear but still combat even. I like it. I actually don't. It's terrible. So, it seems like the Gurian swords are not the best because my general is destroying them. But otherwise, I'm pretty much losing the rest of the battle. You know. Because combat even and all the other terrible things that are can possibly occur. I'm trying to aim for their spear nobles. Because those guys are super powerful and they almost never die. As you have seen in the other campaigns. They are incredibly hard to kill. It looks like this cavalry unit just keeps running away, so we're just going to f destroy them. Light cavalry is the worst. So all they do is run away. Luckily, I have medium, medium cavalry versus light. Hopefully, they can kill them off and then have them rejoin the battle so they can actually. Do some good flanking. But right now we are actually getting destroyed. Oh! I can use the whip. Should be very useful at this point. Come on, General, finish these Ligurian swords off. We need you at the battlefield. And here in the deep forest, we are chasing down light cavalry who are still active and are not dead yet. Oh, they're luring us way too far off. Way too far off. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Look at that pathfinding. Whoa, that's, I don't remember that ever happening before. I am very happy. Patch 14, guys. Patch 14. Huge improvements. That is what I call a huge improvement, by the way. Oh look, there's spear nobles. Oh, never mind. Still a high threat. Quick release! Triarie, go in! Kill them all! Uh, they came back. I'm glad I didn't pursue them. Come on, go, go, go! We need these guys to come in faster. Some intense combat. Ooh, these guys are gonna be so surprised. Charge! Calvary victory! Nobody died in that charge. That was. That was a sad charge. going to uh, get out of here and then we're going to actually hit these short swords first and I'm going to have these guys playing these light horsemen and then from here this should this should turn the tide in our favor I certainly hope so so we're pretty much losing at this point. The main battles being lost. 
All right, so now that we switched it up a little bit, we're tearing apart the light horsemen and the spears, and us, you know, flanking the light swords should give us the advantage. Although I have noticed that it seems like the combat's a lot slower, because these guys are not dying at all. But that's okay. Sometimes slower gameplay is better than you can actually move your, maneuver your soldiers. I think we're about to lose our Hastati. Or maybe they're already almost all dead. Take out the Celtic skirmishers. The Celtic skirmishers. Excellent, most excellent. Come on, town watch. Let's move it. Squeeze, squeeze the enemy to death. Use the whip. We're almost there. Kill them all off. I am going to need my cavalry in the back. Oh man, good thing I got this one unit of cavalry. Super useful. Spurious Us of the Town Watch defending his town with valor. Yeah, it's winning decisively. That's nice. Oh man, my Hastati fought to the death like they should when they're defending a damn town. Good work. I'm very happy with this. They don't just instantly rout. No, these guys are probably instantly routes. If they don't, then I'll be a little disappointed. Charge! Oh yeah, look at all those dead bodies. They did instantly route, but I mean, most of them did fall to the ground. And now they're routing. Perfect. Excellent. Most excellent. Now the spear nobles that we all dread. We dread their existence, for they are impervious to damage. And now they're running. I like this. Keep you guys here. The rest of you. Uh, rapid advance. Gonna flank. Going gathering. Go around. Hulites are depleted. We'll retake the square. And we will reinforce the north. These guys are depleted, so we'll keep them here. All depleted units will report to the town hall. Or, you know, whatever this is. What is this? Yeah, no hint, no hint. I have no idea then. Alright. Hostate! These guys are. These guys are some brave dudes. Just defend the fort. Defend it as if you're defending your house. Yeah, but just don't, you know, destroy all the bushes. Boop. All right. Well, let's look at the battle. I mean, more or less, this battle's taking a while. Oh man, we're already at the 34-minute mark. Well, almost 35. 
These guys are exhausted, but they're coming. We actually already have six minutes left. Engage! Where's my cow? Oh my goodness, where'd you guys go? Terrible. Ooh, massive force coming in from the north. Swiftly kill them all. Well, I mean, we may as well just destroy them. I mean, we're already all here. What's another minute of defeating your enemy? I oh, am yeah, not cheering. Hey, I have noticed that there isn't a ton of cheering in this uh, in this battle until the end, which is like right now. But these guys are in combat, so it's okay. These guys are fighting for their lives. All I hear are shields shattering. That is awesome. So pretty much, yeah, these guys, yep. All dying. Oh, this guy. The last, the last one. Who do you think is going to kill him? I'm thinking this guy right here. Oh no, this guy. Nice. Alright, so victory for us. Can we get the battle? It was a costly victory. We lost a thousand men, but we did kill 1300. So we pretty much depleted their whole army. And hopefully they actually die on the campaign map. And they don't, of course. Why not? I mean, this is, this is Rome. What has changed? <sighs> Damn it. I was hoping they'd actually be routed. I hesitate only because I do not wish to add hurt. But you must now look to your own defense. Oh man. Why would they do that? Alright, so it looks like we're out of time here. So I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this first episode. And see you next time.